first of all, Lily, thank you for taking a little bit of your time uh, for talking about this amazing movie that I absolutely loved. I can't wait to see it again. And uh, I, I was just talking about, about, about two hours ago with colleagues, and we all agree that you just stole and just blew it out of the park with your role. And uh, you own that role, you own that movie. This is your movie. Uh, thank you for for giving you know give, giving a little bit of time to talk to, to you about the movie. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate your words. That's very very sweet. <laughs> Uh, how does it feel? How does it feel? You finally see the final product. Uh, I mean, I think everybody's gonna love it. General audience is gonna love it when they see it. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna enjoy it. Uh, are you content with what you see? Are you content with your performance? Because again, my opinion is you blow it out of the park. I think you absolutely carried that film. Nothing against, you know, I love Frank. Frank is a good friend of mine, and Cameron and 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 Malcolm has, you know, he has filmed in Puerto Rico a bunch of times. But how do you feel? How do you feel about about what you just, uh, you know, the, the the performance? I mean, it feels just incredible to see it being done and how it came together. It feels like a baby because I did it March last year, and now it's coming out, and it's been so much i mean of the prep and then filming it and the post and the excitement just grows because you never see the final product but while doing it it felt so great because we had a great crew we had a great team and you just knew we were creating something very special together and now coming at see to like coming seeing how it all came together was the biggest gift um, this is a David Lauer mo movie i mean and this is basically down his alley he, we know him by this this type of story um, how how aware were you when you did the audition? How aware were you when you were getting into it? Because this is a physical movie for yourself, for your role and, and, and for everything. How, how did you prepare yourself? How did you get yourself in the mindset of, of your character? Because this is a really physical, this is your first starting role and it's a really physical movie, a really physical movie for yourself. It really is. I mean, it's very physical, but the physical aspect helps. So I did six weeks of stunt training where you just like learn how to use all the weapons because Sky is just so good with weapons and she knows exactly what to do. And she, even when she's completely out of control, you have a feeling she's in control. And that's something you need to learn by being very comfortable with the weapons you use. So that physical aspect really helped me to also emotionally prepare for Sky. And um, I would just say that I also like, I worked with psychologists trying to decipher what she had, journaled a lot, really tried to get into the psyche of Sky to see what makes her the character she is. And it was very interesting to just explore how someone can become the way she became. Um, I want to talk about a little bit about talking, working with Cameron and, and Frank. Frank, I mean, we have, we have talked a bunch of times during the interview, so we have become good internet friends, that's what I call it. Um, and he's a really fun guy. And Cameron is really professional. I mean, I know he's like, he gets into his character and he just absolutely drives it. Did you were able to, did you talk to them outside, obviously, uh, outside the cameras and did, were you able to grasp something from him? What what's, were the stuff that you just learned from the two of them that you just said, okay, this is something that I'm taking and I'm writing notes? I think, like you said, they're very different actors. Frank walks into the room and he does it like casually. He knows what he's doing and he has a clear idea it seems so natural because he does things while he acts so he walks around the room he he has this very secure sense of character and Cameron is very specific about his choices which is also incredible to work with and having the mix of the both is just so interesting because if you have different kinds of acting that come together that's when something very interesting is being created and just working with both of them offset and on set and getting to know them just seeing that they're both incredible and very inspiring people and John Malkovich also has a very different acting style and all of us coming together was this very creative enriching uh, process which was magical. I got two more questions before I let you go. I want to talk about, I, I got the opportunity to talk obviously to Luis already, the, the director. If, was there any in any, any moment of the film that you just felt uncomfortable that you, you, you felt that you wanted to voice yourself like hey maybe can we do this this way, I know I'm new here, but I don't. I just feel that we should do this this way. It, it, was there any moment? It's so physical for you, and you're in the center stage of the whole film. Was mm -hmm. there any moment that you felt that you need to speak out and you wanted to do something differently? So the thing I learned because I also did a lot of prep with Lewis before we did a week of just rehearsals, and within a day or two, I noticed I could really trust him. He was really, he has someone who has your best intentions at heart. And that's really rare. And whatever he says, he's very open to other ideas, very open for feedback. And there was this one scene where I revealed that I killed my 
uh, oh, I don't know if this is a spoiler. There's one scene where I reveal something and he wanted me to do a very specific choice of never looking at camera, but always looking ahead and doing my own thing. And I told him, I was like, Lewis, I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna give you a take or two and you can tell me, but I don't know if it's gonna work. And then we did it. And I was still like, I don't know if it's gonna work. And he was like, Lily, trust me, it works and it looks incredible. And in that moment, you really have to trust your director. And I said, okay, if you say it works, it works and I'll do it again. And um, I really had this relationship with him where we knew what was best for each other and we knew each other very well. So I completely let that go. That's cool. That's cool. Um, and one last question. And I, 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 I'm, I consider myself a real advocate of having, I want to see more like this. I want to see more women in leading roles. I want to see more women in lead, being directors. I, I want to get your point of view on the other side. Yeah, and things things have changed. We have just saw it, we just saw it in the, the Golden Globes that two women got uh, got the the directors uh, nominations and Jane got the the, the the win. Are things changing in your perspective? Are things changing, or we still need you know we need to walk, need to do a little bit more more walking? I think things are definitely changing. I think things have to change. I mean, it's been the same for too long and I'm very happy that things are slowly changing and this movie is an example of this I mean and this is why people should watch it Sky is this very self-driven person who at the end just breaks free from all the emotional abuse and all the people trying to control her and she's really the person in the driver's seat who takes the action who not only knows what she's doing but lives with the consequences and I mean that is something big of female empowerment as well just knowing that if you act you have to act with con like the consequences that come but also allowing her to be the driver of the situation and i think that's one of the special parts of shattered that it's not just a normal thriller but it's a romance of female empowerment and also the thriller and the action all driven by sky mm -hmm. and that's projects like these that we need more of mm -hmm. Completely agree with you. I again, thank you for your time. I absolutely love, love the movie. Thank you Can't so wait much. to see it. Can't wait to see it again. Can't wait to buy it, have it on DVD, put it in my collection. <laughs> so it's going to be part of my collection. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Again, you just stole it. You stole it. I mean, you, you put it in the park. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.